right so we're doing today um pinner test route um 857 sometime um anytime by after nine o'clock and between one o'clock they use this route as well um so just be mindful of this um that at 857 um uh, this this there's a school just around the corner here so kids are already gone in the school but the parents are still reversing the car mm -hmm. on the road so uh, when you go out from here you make sure you pay attention if there is a you know last minute kids are running around for the school and stuff like that so be observant from here as well okay so we have put this sat nav here um, which is going to give you a direction so we the examiner have started the exam already and ask you to go follow the sat nav and at the end of the road which is here okay so at the end of the road turn right which is look straight ahead but it's a right turn this is specifically told you by the examiner to you as well although the navigator tells you as well okay so let's go so make sure here you need to look your left hand side properly and the visibility is absolutely poor so you won't be able to see probably for anything here so you must look leaning forward look over the shoulders look with with these uh, parked vehicles and everything must be clear if it's clear then off you go but look there's a red car is coming so if you decide to wait here well it's still okay because uh, after that you might don't have to the room to go into the left as well so it's okay to wait here now red car is about to pass look on the left again it's clear right again clear left one more time and off you go now the red car is gonna go and block that traffic if there is any so we can go easily so no rush okay no rush when you're coming out from the test center 60 to 80 percent sometimes the students fail the test there and there because they don't they get very much tempted to just get out of the, the test center and start doing the test but well that's where they go wrong so first five to ten minutes if you just stabilize yourself take a nice deep breath you'll be fine pull up on the left side somewhere safe please so he, so he asks you to safe please that means do not block any driveway yellow line is still okay It's not a safe park is it because your car is not on the yellow line so we want to be we want to be on the yellow line not away from the yellow line because it looks quite far away from the curb so come close to the curb something like this straighten up there you are okay so you want to you want to hide the yellow line you don't want to keep looking the yellow line okay mm -hmm. drive on when you're ready They ask you to pull up on the left here then do not block these garages as well you will have a space here look these are the boxes on the left you can you, you must park in one of these boxes don't block the garages over there although it's a single yellow line though Just after this bend, there is a long tunnel. Okay, so it's basically both the side vehicles are parked. If you see anybody up there, you wait here. Okay, if no, go. Stick to the middle. Don't drive too much on the right, don't drive too much on the left. Stick in the center. At the end of the road, turn right, B472, Joel Street. Okay, so now in this Joel turn Street, right. morning 9 o'clock, the traffic's going to be mad. 
okay so make sure you need to get in the center of the road so you need to block the first half of the road when the right is clear so right is clear and left side we can have to see that nobody's want to turn into this road so block here look on the left again if it's clear then move on and join the road on the jewel street so nine o'clock it will be busy so when the right side is clear then block halfway but when you're blocking it make sure look on the left again that nobody wants to turn into that road so if they have signaling already don't jump into the middle of the road okay wait there and when let them finish their turn then you jump in the road and somebody will give you away from the left so pay attention to their you know signs After and signals. After 200 yards go left on the roundabout and take the first exit A404 Lynn Road. Now come on the Joel Street is 30 mile per hour so if there is no reason to um, do 20 or 25 you must do at least reasonable speed to the road. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Look on the right, look, it's nothing. Come on, move on. Stick to the left lane and get out. That's it. Now your signal After is still 600 on. 600 yards, turn right, A4125, High Street. Okay, let's go, come on, move. It's 30. So this 300 yard turn right means right now there's, there's a, only one lane which is now become a two lane. So stick to the right lane now and the right turn is just before this iron bridge. Turn right, A4125, High Street. After 200 yards, turn left, Chester Road. Come on, overtake the bus. The bus was stopped, just stopped, didn't it? Turn left. Come on, mirror, signal. So this left turn is just before this zebra crossing, so... It's quite hard. Pull up on the left, please. Somewhere safe. Don't worry about the blocking of the driveway for this occasion or the yellow line. So just keep driving ahead behind the red, white car. Leave a car space between you and the white car. Just keep driving for now. Keep driving, keep driving. That's it. Thank you. You must secure the car every time you stop and cancel the signal too and leave the foot brake okay now we are going to do an in, um, emergency stop okay so I, as an examiner i'm gonna say something like this that's what they're going to tell you in the exam okay so right we're gonna do the emergency stop in a minute so for that i'm going to look over the shoulder and see if it is safe to do so if it is there is no vehicle behind us then i will say stop so when i say stop i would like you to control the car in a, in a briskly and quickly as, as soon as you can okay mm -hmm. so if I look in the back mirror please do not break wait for my signal when I say stop then only stop in a full control right I'm sure you have done some practice with your instructor yeah, yeah. you understood yeah drive on when you're ready
So just hold on a minute. Let that red card pass us. Cancel the signal. Okay, he parked now. So let's go. Move on. So when you ask this emergency stop, please do not drive slowly. Okay, just drive as normal. Stop. Well done. Make sure you do handbrake and parking when you fully stopped. Drive on when you're ready. So when now we say drive on when you're ready, you need to look 360. Students fail here most of the time. They don't look 360. They don't do right signal. They don't do look over again on the right hand side. Basically, you need to do the safety check before you move off. Because in this case, you have parked in the middle of the road and then you're driving off. So that's the logic you have to use it for now. Turn right. 